Hi, welcome to a part for you video tutorials. This video tutorial is on how to replace your main thermostats in a tumble dryer. Remember, for safety reasons, unplug the appliance before working on it, and all work should be done by a qualified engineer. This video can be used on an assortment of appliances, including Arison, Creda, Crusader, Electra, Hotpoint, Interset, Jackson, and Proline, and many more. Just showing you how the back plate comes off here, showing you all the screws. The fault with this appliance, by the way, was the appliance was not heating. Common causes for a tumble dryer not heating are the heating element can be open circuit, in other words blown, the cutouts or the thermostats can trip out, meaning open circuit again, and some modern tumble dryers have PCB boards which can go down. Also, you could have faulty wire connections. You can find all these videos at our website. Just removing the back panel now. Here at the top you can see the two thermostats. Right, what we'll do now is remove the wiring off the thermostats and then check it for continuity. Remember to write down the wiring, draw yourself a little wiring diagram and also make a note of which thermostat came off where as they do have different temperature ranges. Uh, some of these thermostats are colour coded. The main reason thermostats go are usually lack of circulation, meaning that they overheat. Uh, someone opens the door without letting it have its 10 minutes cooling down period. Or a restriction on airflow going through the machine. You can see here that the thermostats on this particular one are both open circuit. No continuity going across, so we'll change these. Remember, the easiest way to find the parts for your tumble dryer is to put in the search box your model number and it will bring up a full list of parts available for your machine. If you can't find the part that you require, just give us a telephone call and one of our staff will be glad to help you. Just removing the other thermostat and then I'll give you a more detailed view on how to test thermostats. Right, we'll do a detailed test on these thermostats. One thermostat is blown and the other one is good. This is what normally happens with a tumble dryer. Just checking continuity here on the meter. No continuity going across this thermostat, which means it's open circuit. And this one has continuity which means it's good. This is what normally happens to a thermostat that only one thermostat blows but we do recommend changing both. Just showing you here we have a red dot thermostat, a pair of thermostats with the left one that's unmarked and a blue dot thermostat here. There are different types on all tumble dryers. Now we'll just install the new thermostats Again, going back to your wiring diagram that you drew earlier. Replacing the thermostats in the correct place. While I'm installing these thermostats, I'll just tell you a little bit about the website. Uh, if you go to the video section or video tutorials on the website, you're able to find a full selection of videos on all household repairs. And if you can't find a specific video, you're always welcome to send us an email. Uh, requesting a video and we'll try and get it on the uh, work list to get done. Just replacing the last thermostat here. Remember again the easiest way to find parts on the website is to put your model number into the search bar at the top and press the go button. This will give you a full list of uh, appliance parts available for your machine and if you can't find the part that you're after you're more than welcome to give one of our staff a telephone call and they'll try and help you out. Again going back to the wiring diagram to replace the wires. 
We'll just uh, quickly do a test on the thermostats after putting them in situ. Again, you can see on the meter, continuity across that one, continuity across that one. Now we'll replace the wiring. Once you've replaced all the wiring on the machine, it's a good idea to give a quick hoover round to make sure that you remove all the fluff, especially from the uh, venting units. And it would also be a good idea as you're working on the tumble dryer to remove the side panel and try and remove as much fluff from inside the machine as possible. Uh, you can see how to do this on other videos. But this will always help towards the lifespan of the machine. We've also produced some new features on the website, uh, appliance help, where we put some bulletins in and other bits and pieces on certain parts and uh, certain appliances that have common faults. Always worth a looking. Just replacing the back panel here. Remember, Apart for You produces all these videos free of charge and we have a full library full of appliance repairs and household repairs. Usually find it on the top bar of the website, video tutorials it's under. And then you've also got appliance help next to it. And remember to shop at Apart for You as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. The easiest way again to find the parts for your appliance is either put the model number into the search bar at the top of the page or you can use the store catalogue navigation system on the left hand side which will show you a tree structure of all the appliance spares that are available under their categories. Just replacing the bearing cover then we'll put the lid on the machine right after you've fully reassembled the machine and we'll just put the lid on in a second you need to let the machine run for about five five minutes or so then quickly just open the door just to check the heat or you can check that there's heat coming out on the rear vent if it's a condenser dryer you'll need to actually open the door to check uh, which this machine is but on a normal tumble dryer you're able to put your hand at the back next to the venting hose and you should have warm air coming out we hope you found this video useful and remember again to shop at Apart For You as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. Thank you very much for watching.